So, you decided to make chip music. That's awesome. This episode will be perfect for you, and I've prepared a song called Arpeggio and the sample Chip 1. It looks like this, and as you can see, I've lowered the volume to keep your ears from bursting. So, it looks like this, and it sounds like this. Let's get started. The zero command is used to arpeggiate the note you define in up to two more. This means you will be able to create a chord. I'll start by showing you how this looks with a basic C major chord. And to create this chord we need three notes. It's C3, it's E3, and it's G3. So I'll start by putting the bass note here, it's C3, and since E3 is four semitones from C3, I'll put four here, and since G3 is seven semitones from C3, I'll put seven here. And I want this to keep arpeggiating down here, so I'll put the parameter 47 all the way down here. Let's listen. That's nice. And if you want this to be a minor chord, you just change the major third to a minor third, like this. 3-7. Let's listen. Now I'm all sad. Let's go back to the 47 again. And it's important to keep track of your arpeggiating notes because if you want to do an E major chord like this, E3, then four semitones will be G sharp 3, that's alright, but seven, that will be B3, that's a big no-no. So you need to invert this chord to B2, and then you have to go up to E3, that's five semitones, and you need to go up to the G sharp, that's nine semitones. And I'm going to keep this arpeggiating down here like this. And let's listen how this sounds. That's better. And the arpeggio command always plays three notes. So if you define it like 5-0 here, ProTracker will play B2 first, then jump to E3, which is five semitones up, then go back to B2 again, and then repeat. So B2, E3, B2, B2, E3, and B2, and so on and so forth. Let's listen. And I'm going to dig deeper into this. And first I'm going to use my 59 parameter again, and I'll go really, really slow. So I'll use F1F, that's the slowest speed of ProTracker, and F20, that's only 32 BPM. Let's listen what happens. As you can hear, the arpeggio is kind of glitchy, and to explain this I need to explain the F command first. So F1F means speed 31 in decimal, and this means that ProTracker will play 31 ticks per row. And since the arpeggio command uses 3 ticks per loop, this will not fit evenly into 31. So if I change it to F1E, that's 30, 3 will fit perfectly. Let's hear it. And this is something you may want to take into consideration when doing arpeggios. Now let's go back to the default speed of F06 and the default tempo of F7D again and let's listen. Better. Now in episode 3 I promised I would talk about the sample swap quirk and it's pretty safe to use with chip samples so here we go. This module consists of five different samples. Let me show you. The first sample looks like this. This is sample number 2, 3, 4 and 5. And as you can see it's all the same sample, I'm just moving the loop to create a phaser effect. They sound like this. And I'm going to use these samples to create the sample swap quirk. And I'm keeping my note B2, but I'm changing the sample number to 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's hear it. That's really cool. And you can change the arpeggio notes or chords at any time. So I can use the A here and 7 here and let's hear it. And I guess that's it. So thank you for tracking. Please comment and I'll see you in episode 9.